One of the great joys of the placemaking residency has been our opportunity to meet new partners and meet new like-minded people and organizations and diverse communities. One of those organizations that we've met over the years now is Gordon Parks High School. That's right. Marvelous school, marvelous teachers, marvelous students. And we've gotten to know them and some of the work they're doing. And they have three big ideas that they want to share with you. More than that, they want you to give them some help. They want you to give them some input. And so they've asked if you'd be willing to text in any advice or uh, ideas or suggestions that might improve their ideas, their, their proposals. And uh, I'm going to give you that text number in just a moment. It's the mayor's cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, 952. 952? 201 4121. Okay? So they would love it if you have ideas that would help their work. So please join me in welcoming Marquise Mendoza and Song Yang. You ready for this? Huh? You doing, ready? You. Ready? Hey, good evening, everyone. My name is Song Yang. And my name is Marquise Mendoza. And we are both students at Gordon Parks High School, located at 1212 University Avenue near Lexington. We want to thank Patrick C. and the Riverfront Corporation for giving us the chance to share three big ideas that promote hope and possibilities for all of St. Paul. But before we get started on the big ideas, we want to tell you about Gordon Parks High School. Our school is named after the late, great media activist, Gordon Parks. We connect with his legacy through our classwork. He was from St. Paul. We do a lot of photography and filmmaking to connect with community. In fact, being here tonight is an extension of our classes because opportunities like this make class real and fun. Our class has brainstormed three big ideas to help make our community more healthy and vital. And we love your feedback. So our first big idea tonight is to broaden public support of a community green space on Griggs Avenue between our school and Skyline Towers. <laughs> Last year, we met Gail Penalosa and promoted a community green space concept behind our school. Between our school and Skyline Towers, there are 3.5 acres of potential green space. We're happy to say that the project is at a much more advanced stage this year, only after five years of effort. Since 2009, our school has championed this green space through grants, films, presentations, and websites. But our biggest achievement was building a team and now, we'd like to recognize them. Lex Ham. <laughs> Margaret Jones. <laughs> Skyline Towers. <laughs> University of Minnesota. <laughs> Trust for Public Land. <laughs> the City of St. Paul itself and Gordon Parks High School students and alumni like Kalik Rogers. <laughs> Song and I are just the most recent group of students to work on this effort. Many other students have stood before us and the success of this project is proof that students and schools can play an integral role in community improvement. Now, can we count on you for continued support to establish a community green space on Griggs Avenue. Yeah. 
Our big idea number two is to create a youth entertainment center on University Avenue. Did you know that University Avenue used to be dotted with small to mid-sized entertainment venues? In fact, the site where our school is now located used to be the famous prom ballroom. Today, youth like Marquise and I have to travel far to just see a movie or a performance. Our idea is to bring back more places for youth programming and entertainment on University Avenue. The Victoria Theater Arts Initiative really aligns with this idea. Venues like this can create healthy after-school opportunities for youth and positively impact community. Can we count on you to support our idea of youth entertainment space on University Avenue? Our last big idea is to create an affordable child care facility on University Avenue in Frogtown. Now, I've got some statistics for you. Did you know that Frogtown has the highest percentage of children under five in all of St. Paul? Also, in Frogtown, 41% of families have an income less than $35,000 a year. Think about that. Now I'd like you to combine these two facts together like we did in class. In Frogtown, there is a great need for affordable daycare opportunities. Combine this with the accessibility that the light rail brings and you've got a truly big idea. Many of our classmates miss school to provide childcare so other family members can work. Now, please, could you help us initiate a more affordable childcare opportunity in Frogtown? In order to improve communities, we need to listen to the community. Schools and students can play a big role in this process. Youth involvement ensures future success. We want to be involved with these projects. We want your support. And we want to support you. There's so much hope and possibility for St. Paul in this room. So let's work together. It is now our honor to introduce Mayor Chris Coleman, a strong ally of Gordon Parks High School and Skyline Towers. Mayor Chris Coleman. Hold on, hold on. All right, I'm just going to share some ideas that I got. First of all, I have a confession to make. Patrick has been trying to get my cell phone number for 10 years. Um, he just apparently figured out that the 952 number would never be the Mayor of St. Paul's uh, prefix. So, but we did get some great ideas. So first of all, dream big. Be persistent in your, in your goals, and you will be the difference. But somebody suggested we add a water fountain in one of the parks, the green spaces, where you could actually fill water bottles. I like that idea. Um, Julie Causey suggested you go to John Bennett at the Western Bank for money. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if, John, I don't know if John knows that. Uh, spread the idea over 94, so you would take in a Dunning Field. That's an idea. Ramsey County Historical Society has said that they're there to help. And someone said, uh, look at the private college councils as a possible source of some, uh, some assistance on this as well. So that's just the text that we got in just a couple of minutes. Uh, and there are a lot of great ideas, but most of all, aren't these students awesome? Let's give it up for Marquise and Song. You guys are great. Thank you. Thank you so much, thank you.